a beautiful integral for the Euler Mascheroni constant. So we have an integral over here and that's what we will solve in this video. And the solution development is quite elegant. I hope you will enjoy it. Now the first thing we do is uh, try to let the log x as y because uh, powers of e are usually more easier than the log. And also if we let y as log x we will have minus infinity over here but we want to make it infinity because uh, that's what we know better that's why we will let y equals to minus log x yeah and that implies x equals to e to the power minus y which implies dx equals to minus e to the power minus y dy now uh, minus log of 0 is infinity and over here that's 0 1 by we have minus y plus now in place of x we have e to the power minus y so we can have e to the power y by e to the power y minus 1 yeah and then the next thing we can do is substitute dx for minus e to the power minus y dy okay now after this you can use the negative sign to reflect the integral that gives us integral from 0 to infinity and now multiply by e to the power minus y we will have 1 by e to the power y minus 1 minus e to the power minus y y to the power minus 1 dy now this is just y to the power 0 yeah and then I can see something, I can smell something. This is in the form of this integral. The integral is we have y to the power s minus 1 by e to the power y minus 1 minus, let's say this is this s instead of s minus 1 and e to the power minus y, y to the power s minus 1 dy. Now we know the integral over here. This is just zeta of s plus 1, gamma of s plus 1. Yeah, for that you can multiply numerator and denominator by e to the power minus y and then you will get a geometric series of e to the power minus y and then you can do it. I'll also link a video over here uh, which proves my statement minus this is just uh, gamma of s now gamma of s can be written as uh, s times 1 by s and that implies s times gamma s is just gamma s plus 1 so we have gamma s plus 1 times 1 by s now if you take gamma s plus 1 as a factor coming out you will have zeta s plus 1 minus 1 by s so now we will use the same thing over here as well so basically uh, we have evaluated this limit now we will try to find its value at limit uh, our s is tending to 0 limit s goes to 0 so that's what we will find out now for this function because if we put s equals to 0 in this integral we will get the exact same integral that we want now for this uh, there is a zeta function a series for zeta function that can help us with this and the series is from Fourier transform which is something like this uh, Riemann zeta of s plus 1 this is equal to 1 by s plus sum goes from n equals to 0 to infinity and uh, we have a still theus constant yeah so if this is going from n equals to 0 so this is not euler mastroni constant this is still theus constant and still theus constant at n 0 will be euler mascheroni constant yeah this one is euler mascheroni constant okay fine still this constant by n factorial times n uh, the value of the still this constant for different n's are different 
and then we have minus s to the power n yeah okay now we want to evaluate this sum yeah sorry not the sum we want to like substitute this sum back in the uh, limit yeah and then we have limit s tends to 0 gamma s plus 1 and this will be 1 by s will cancel out so we have sum from n equals to 0 to infinity still there is constant of sub sub n by n factorial minus s to the power n now we are substituting s at 0 so when n equals to 0 we have 0 to the power 0 so we won't be evaluate we won't be able to evaluate if we directly put that so what we can do is uh, what we can do is we can first uh, find the first term separately now since okay, the s isn't really zero s is just going to zero yeah and so numbers around the zero so that's why uh, s to the power zero is gonna be one yeah and we can separate that as well so all the mass only constant for n zero by zero factorial and since s is some really small number so for any number to the power zero is just one so we have one plus sum from n equals to 1 to infinity uh, still this constant to the base n by n factorial minus s to the power n now at this point in this since n is going from 1 now when s is near to 0 it will be 0 okay now we can evaluate the limit gamma of 1 now this is just older mass running constant but zero factorial is one plus one plus now this is just zero because s is going to zero and n is a natural number so yeah we have our answer this is just one times older mass running constant and we get that beautiful answer which is euler mascaroni constant so this problem basically involved uh, this integral yeah uh, and this integral is also known as like integral for zeta or something like that maybe or product of zeta and gamma function you can also google that but i have already linked the video and this one is the Fourier series for zeta function hope you enjoyed this problem hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching look forward to seeing you in the upcoming videos too